How's it going everyone? My name is Hugh and today is the revealing of a very very special alpha that I've been working on for the past four days I believe. Um, I've been keeping count of it because I need to start keeping count of how long it takes me to make certain things or do whatever but this costume is something that I've wanted to do for a while but I never had the chance to and I never had the perfect pictures to work with. You're probably thinking what the hell is that? <laughs> well Basically, I took my own spin on it, so it's got a bit of classic. So here's new. That's new school Doom, actually. If I can get the thing to focus, hang on a second. That's new school Doom, you know, with the emblem on him. And then I got a bit of classic here. You know, the shoulders are actually a bit bulkier, but I'm going to chop them down uh, so they look somewhat, you know, yeah, there we go, I focused it. So they actually look a bit chunky. Because they fit inside here, the little gaps, see where my toe is? They fit inside that little gap. And also up at the front too. But uh, I'm going to chop these down a little bit. So kind of curve the edge here and over here maybe. They're a little bit too big. And they don't sit right. It looks like samurai armor. <laughs> That's why it looks kind of goofy. But uh, I am going to tweak it a little bit more. But the fitment and everything works great. And like I did with the Shovel Knight costume... <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, Shovel Knight. I didn't mean to disrespect you, you know. But what I did here is I put it on my vest like I did with the Shovel Knight outfit, if you can see that. So I velcroed it here, same thing on the other side, and I just pretty much put gaffling tape on the back of these spines here but I mean you can I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see some blood stains on it I did the same effect like I did with the shotgun over there come on I did the same thing with the shotgun now the paint I was using is that camouflage green you can kind of see here it didn't it had this weird bubbly effect I don't know what the heck was going on there you see that I don't know what was going on there but for some reason like it was doing this weird bubbly and it was kind of peeling off some of the smooth parts here. I did it again here a little bit. It's strange. But I guess it's just the material that, I don't know, that kind of just ruins it sometimes. So, okay. So I don't know if you guys could have heard that. I was listening to the soundtrack over there in a minor day. I need to listen to the soundtrack in order for me to kick some ass and build this costume, you understand? So, <laughs> why do I still have that voice? <laughs> so basically, like what I did here on the chest plate, I actually took like a little pocket knife and just kind of like just just I don't know if I can get close. So you'll, yeah, okay, there we there we go. Can you see that? So I took I didn't go very deep because I didn't want to puncture a hole in it to the other side. So I just kind of like fluted fluted flu, flu, floated floated it. It's still not even a word. <laughs> you get what I mean. Uh, across the surface here and then just kind of like went right down so I did the blood first and then when I saw that I was like oh maybe I can make it even more gruesome so I took a little blade and pocket knife and just kind of dabbed it like that um, same thing I got some blood here following that track or that scar trail and then put some silver over it so it looks like the armor was scraped by a demon you know and then the other side here more blood, more silver, so it looks like it's a bit more worn. Again, you're very, I'm very limited with material, but it actually came out freaking badass, you know? Cardboard's actually one of those materials that you can do a whole bunch of stuff with. I mean, look at that. I bent that with cardboard. I didn't even cut it. I just kind of like bent the cardboard. I put a little piece here to hold that piece in place, bent it here, you know? Cardboard's freaking amazing to work with. A little bulky looking, but it's it's good for bulky armor builds. And it's free. Did you know that? It's free. I kept the abs black because I didn't want to make it green. I just thought it was going to be way too much green. Because that's green, that's green, that's green, that's green. That's green, that's green, that's green. That's green. It just looks like under armor, so it's kind of like an endoskeleton or an exoskeleton or whatever it is. I'm sure you guys are going to get on my ass about that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't be that guy now. Don't be that guy be like, no, yo, it's an endoskeleton, you dumbass. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> Don't judge me. So for the crotch piece here and back, blood plate. Yeah, <laughs> crotch, blood plate. So I kind of had to split it here. Because I didn't have a lot of leather, so I kind of... 
did like what was it? There was this section and then that section. So they were kind of sitting on top of each other like this because I only had like maybe this much of leather left. Um, so I had to kind of share it, but I did the best that I could. I didn't sew that part. I should probably do that instead of hot gluing it. And same thing with this. I should probably sew that on. And same thing with the one over there. But for now, I just hot glued it so I can see where everything fits, everything works, which it does, and I'm and I'm pleased with it. And the way I did this, I got the design from something in my memories over here. That's my old Halo armor I made in like 2012. So I kept it in like all these boxes up here. There's the chest. There, no, that's a knee. That's a chest plate in there. I don't know if you can see that. Ready? That's a chest plate. I still even have the helmet. That's the helmet sitting over there, you know? So I use this as a reference and I kind of cut down the edges here. Come on, camera. So I kind of cut down the edges so it doesn't, so it sits flat. Same thing with the back piece here. So I'm glad I didn't throw that away. I used that, ah! I used that as a reference. So as for these, you probably can kind of tell what these are. Right? Right. So I kind of just masked out any of the black fabric and I spray painted these the same camouflage green. So overall, costume came out pretty cool actually. Um, and like I said, it's got a bit of a classic because I didn't put arm armor on, you know, like for your bicep and forearm and all that stuff. So I kind of went with the classic doom of the sleeveless version of him, but it's also got like new school chest plate, new school, I guess, armor here, new school helmet, new school shout gun. You can go on my Facebook and see um, how I was able to piece everything together, like a, what is it called? A origami, you know what I mean? Have you ever made one of those origami things? It's just like, you print something out. It's like Pepakura. And same thing when you're building it with foam. You print out each individual piece, you cut it out on whatever material that it is. It could be metal, foam, uh, just paper, and then paper mache or something, or bondo. And then you size it down and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I did it. So I kind of pieced it together like it was a giant origami puzzle or something I printed off of Peppercure. If you guys want to build this yourself, check out some of the pictures on my Facebook page. Everything's in the link in the description below. And I'll see you goons in a sketch video because I'm going to film that today and should be out later this week. Yeah.